Despite the shortage of water and electricity, prominent Syrians and intellectuals got together and held a meeting to discuss the country's future on July 3rd. The Conference of the National Initiative for the Future of Syria was held at a hotel in the capital Damascus, even though the hotel lacked the basic facilities for such an event. In his speech, Syrian parliamentarian Hamid Habash urged the conference to engage President Bashar al-Assad in a dialogue. We came to this hotel and we have a clear goal which is reinforcing the will for dialogue and supporting the political reforms taken by President Assad. We came to support those reforms and to say to the whole world that there is a chance for dialogue in Syria. There is a chance for a third way between the government and the National Front and the opposition. The government allowed the conference to take place giving opposition members a rare public platform. Divisions emerge on the scene between those participating in the conference and activists, many of whom are in exile, who said the meeting is pointless if the regime is continuing its crackdown. Some opposition members insist on a dialogue with the authorities so that they can agree on the reforms and a transitional period which will ease the path to democracy. Other opposition figures believe that Mr. Assad has already wasted opportunities for reform and the time has come for him to step down. Western governments have condemned the Syrian regime's violence against protesters and have so far placed sanctions against the government and some officials. Nadia Dismain, Al-Arabiya.